we're going to take for our inspiration the artist Sonia Delaunay and why she works in an abstract way and all of us can kind of work in an abstract way and we can use anything that we have around we can use the crayons we can use color paints color pencils if you have them chalks and one of the things I wanted to use designs that she uses is the circle and the rect and squares and so I'm going to start out by making up square pattern just gonna draw these square patterns like this and we'll do another one here Get another one and we did boxy guy and we did the circle guy so we're kind of ready for this so we do with this one here and uh, maybe I'll make a line go across we'll bring in the triangle shape that we used you notice the circle shapes not in there yet bring in another triangle shape like this and another triangle shape now inside of these inside of all of this now I'm going to draw my circle patterns so I'm going to draw my circle patterns in here and you can draw your circles any way you want they, I think I'll just leave that one alone like that I'll move this one up a little bit circle 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 maybe another square let's see I'll turn this one around this way go the other direction you can do anything you want you don't have to copy me you can do your own thing this is just to create patterns another circle in there another circle now as you see you can still see the boxes but I also have what is nice is that I have my circle pattern thing going. This one. So I'm going to use crayons and watercolors. Because crayons are cool, real cool. We use those crayons. Another circle there. See? It's real easy, real easy to make a nice, interesting design. See? Oh, curvy lines. Curvy lines, circular lines. Inside the rectangle, or triangle, I'm sorry. So you can still keep that triangle shape. there and we will make another box break it up a little bit and let's see some more curves curves and I know everybody likes sun so I'll just bring in a sun shape right there so now I got a lot of stuff to work with so I'm going to start with my crayons and put some color in with my crayons and let's just pull these crayons out and put some color in here now I'm thinking ahead because I know that when I put the crayons watercolor and crayons don't mix which is good makes my job easier so I'll put crayons in one space 
Now I'll leave that for my watercolor. And I'll put some more crayons in. So yellow. Do a lot of this filling in with color. See, so I got pink, got a little yellow. And any place I want to see more yellow. So I think I'm just going to go around every place I want yellow. So I'll put some yellow over here. It's good to put more to, to repeat. Repeat is good. It's like music. Repeat. Gives the picture. Repetition gives the picture rhythm. So all this, these circular shapes and it keeps them together, keeps it harmony. Gives it harmony. See, I'll bring in the yellow again down here. I'm gonna bring in some yellow over here on the other side too. I'm really bringing that yellow in. Crayons. Now you can see I put a lot of yellow in here, a lot of yellow, different places. Kind of move your eye around on the picture. Uh, that's just me. I just like to kind of have you move around. I already put a little pink in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some more pink. Let's go fast.
Okay, you can see all the pinks. So I have the yellows, the pinks kind of flowing around. So we got those bright colors in. And one of my favorites colors too is orange. So now I'm going to dig in and put some orange around. Okay, so now you can see I have my oranges in, I have my pink, my yellows in, and I'm trying to plan it out so that when I put my color in, because these don't mix, then it'll be easy for me to put my color in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of green in, in areas next. Okay, you can see I have some of the greens down and I was just thinking while I was doing the greens maybe some blue to go with the green so let's try that
Okay, so now we got a lot of color in here with crayons. Just all this was done with crayons. So now I'm going to switch over to some paint because I know that I can put the little bit of paint in there and it won't mess up the blue that much. And I have all these areas where the paint won't, I can still be neat. So, so the next thing I'm going to get my paints out, mix some color. So I mix some brown. So this is like an earthy color. I'm going to give it some earthy color in here. So I'm going to bring in some of the brown color and move around the picture and put in some of this brown in different places. So there's some brown there. Let me see. I'll bring in some brown over here. some more brown see the brown doesn't mix with the yellow which is nice let's see let me bring in some brown over here next to the green Gives it contrast, so it gives it a little bit darker color with the other colors. And you can see that triangle shape showing. Bring in some brown over here. A little bit of brown. Yeah. And don't worry about mistakes. If we make a mistake, just keep on going. We're making abstracts. So we can pattern over there. I look around, look around, see what I can find. Then, then put it down. So I'll put a little bit of brown over here. That's what I do, I just kind of look around and see what I can find. So I think I got a nice little browning pattern here. Maybe I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Maybe right here. Crayons and brown. So now, Feeling a little blue here. I'm thinking I'll put some blue watercolor down. While that's drying, I'll go to another area and put in some blue. Let's see. I can, I can put in some blue over here. A little contrasty blue. There we go. Voila! A little blue and maybe I'll put a little blue over here give it harmony so it's next to that blue and that green nice more blue Let me move some more blue around Maybe right in here, a little bit more blue. So we're really starting to fill it in now. We're getting color. And there's another shape. There's another triangle shape that we finished. And let's see. I'm going to put another blue over here. Always look around, look around and then paint and put it down. Paint and put it down. Voila. While the paint is wet. Okay. 
so we got these nice patterns there now we got a few more areas that we can put color down I was feeling it I was feeling it I was thinking maybe a little purple so let's see I found some purple some of my friends really love purple so here's some purple purple here so this is like a dark purple and watercolor we know that if we want a light purple we just add more water to it so right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna put in a couple of dark purples and then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna put a little water in it in my paint that I mixed and make it a lighter purple Oh, got a little purple. Let's see. Maybe I'll fill this in. Some more purple. And now let's go for some light purple and we just add water to my purple that I already have. And maybe I'll make it a little bit, put a little red in it to make it more of a red purple. That's always cool. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush and wipe my brush a little bit. So it won't be, and so it won't be too wet. And I'll just put in a little bit of this red purple in here. see the skirt we see a lot of our curves but also we see we can see our rectangles showing and now the bright colors are popping out because we're surrounding them with darker colors so it makes those yellows pop out I couldn't see them as much before but now we can really see them we need another color I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna grab some of this orange I have here in my watercolor set. I love it. It's really bright. It's to give us some brightness. So here, there's some bright color in there. And I'm gonna bring it over here. I have my big circle of area here. I was wondering what I would put in it. We got that nice bright color in there. And let's see. This is Dago brown, uh, orange, but let's bring in this orange too with it. Bring these colors together. And it's a little bit more. We got one more color. If I was in the classroom with you, you would tell me, put in that color, Mr. Horner, put in that color. So I think I will choose red. I don't even know if it's going to work, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to try red. I got two spots. So we're gonna put in that red. Gotta be careful over here because that's not a crayon. Mm, there we go. And then a little color down there. Next to the pink. We know pink and white make red. So pink and red 
will work together. And that's how easy this is. So hopefully you've made your painting abstract. Very colorful abstract. It's just like uh, Sonia Dubonnet. Her work, you know, it has that pattern. Hers was called the electric prism. And so it's a lot of color and movement with these circles and shapes. And so you can play around. You can, if you feel like it, you can go back in and add color in here. Say if I wanted a little bit more uh, blue on my blue to get rid of some of the whites in there. You can take your blue. I'll just show you in one area. Got a little blue paint. And I can just put some of that in there. And it's resisting, but where it is white, that blue will go in there. Then I'll just take my rag and go like this. And it just kind of fix it up a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. 